Baker takes you to Fenway Park. Fans have been camping out all night hoping to score a seat to tonight's big game. Yeah, they actually started lining up yesterday afternoon, although some people were briefly removed by Boston police before they were allowed back in with some new restrictions. Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson had the air mattress out. I believe he <laughs> was camped out on Yonkey Way last night. He joins us now from Boston with some new overnight details. You know, that sounds a little <laughs> crazy to do that, but for World Series tickets, I think a lot of people would do that. And there are people over there right now. As far as getting tickets on the secondary market, we checked StubHub this morning, and they are extremely expensive. The minimum price, 1000 bucks, and they go all the way up to $12,000. As we said, though, some people doing it the old-fashioned way, waiting outside of Fenway Park, the ticket office over there. And we actually heard of people waiting in line as early as Monday night, 7 p.m., one guy said that he got there, and he's just been camping out on Lansdowne Street. Uh, they're all waiting for the tickets, ticket office to open at this point. They brought sleeping bags, blankets, and chairs, braving the cold weather with the hopes of getting their hands on tickets to tonight's Game 6. Some even had their own World Series wiffle ball game. After a decent line had formed on Tuesday, police did break it up, according to fans, but they were back in line soon after. There's not enough people right now that have as much passion as we do that are not sitting outside at 3 in the morning to wait for these tickets. Yeah, that is passion right there, because let me tell you, it is pretty cold outside at this point. Now, police say they don't have a problem with people waiting in line as long as they follow some simple rules. They want the crowd to remain orderly. They don't want people using open flames to cook, and they also don't want the line going past the bleacher bar on Lansdowne Street. Now, coming up, we're going to tell you more about the St. Louis Cardinals travel troubles and how that could affect Game 6. For now, live with the Mobile Newsroom in Boston, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.